What's up witches? Here's a look at some bonus behind the scenes footage from this week's episode of the Better Witch Podcast. Trucking across the country. Yeah, and where are you right now? I'm in Las Vegas. You made it. I made it. Yes, 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 yes. And I was like, my time zones was all messed up. Yeah. Like it's eight in the morning. No, it's 11. No, it's 12. <laughs> no, it's no, it's like, I'm so yeah, I get so messed up all the time with the with the whole Zoom thing because I do a lot of my readings virtual and it's just like people get turned around all the time. I'll have people messaging me at like 8 o'clock at night and they're like, aren't we supposed to have a session? And I'm like, mm, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you were able to, to be here and um, I won't take up too much of your time today because I know you have so much going on. Um, I want to thank you, first of all, for doing this. Um, I'm already recording, but we're technically like not in the, you know, in the episode. Um, okay. This this will be edited and aired at a later date. So I'm just recording now so that I don't forget because we'll be halfway through Kiki and I'll be like, oh, shit, I forgot to record. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't need that. So I'm just recording now. Mm -hmm. um, but just to kind of let you know about like what I'm doing here, I told you a little bit in the email, this is my first time doing a podcast, but um, I got this opportunity from Devin Hunter at The Modern Witch. Um, and he, Modern Witch, yeah, he's like written a book, he has like a podcast that's been out for years, and he's basically growing a network um, of multiple podcast shows with like different backgrounds, different diverse hosts and things like that. And um, he asked me if I would be interested in being one of the like, you know, first shows in his like attempt to expand. And I was like, Dang. I was like, I'm so crazy busy. But at the same time, I keep getting these signals from the universe to do it. So I was like, I I'm going to do it. And um, the idea that I came up with was instead of just kind of like a typical interview style show, you know, who are you? How long have you been witching? All of that. <laughs> <laughs> the usual rundown. You know, I wanted to have like just a real conversation with witches that I actually admire and listen to and follow and just have a casual kiki on a topic that they're an expert in. And for you, that episode is uh, how to be a rich witch episode. <laughs> okay, because you are the rich witch you know what i mean and um i've been following you for a while now getting familiar with your products but also your life story and that's what really made me say i really want you for this because you know i had to collaborate with devin on like choosing hosts and things like that and there are witches out there that do prosperity magic they teach money magic you know that's their thing that's all of that but I was like, no, I have to have Nicole because <laughs> your, yeah, your life story, like, no oh, offense. Me cry. <laughs> we just got started. <laughs> but seriously, though, like, um, you know, when I see other people, I won't say any names, just other people who have, like, maybe well-known books about money magic or programs about money magic or things like that. When I see them, I don't necessarily see me first of all reflected and i don't necessarily see that transformation that really makes me feel like okay i could change my life mm. you know and it's 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 no offense to where anybody is from you know when you're born with uh with the comforts of life or or you know yeah. two, two working parents like you know all those types of things mm -hmm. that can really like put you in a better spot than other people. Mm -hmm. If you are working money magic, I'm like, yes, do it. That is great. But that doesn't necessarily show me that I could get myself out of my situation. Yeah. yeah, with yeah. Money mm -hmm. magic, you know, so that's why I wanted to talk to you. Um, so we're just going to have a casual chat. I think money magic is one of the more difficult um, magics for people to start to feel confident or competent with. Mm -hmm. And I think that that has a lot to do with the messages that we are given about money mm -hmm. combined with the lessons that we learn about money in our lives. So what I mean by that is we have society, especially here in America, we live in a very, uh, it's a, it's a you know, sort of pseudo Christian country. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of this like, 
old school mentality of like money is bad money is dirty money is evil wanting it is wrong morally mm -hmm. you should want to work for free you should want to give things away what? and i saw your face you're like work for what um but yeah you know like that's considered especially with spiritual work the idea is like this is pious work this is not supposed to make you rich um so we have all these misconceptions about money and then we have the lessons that we learn as individuals from our families because a lot of us have parents and grandparents and other ancestors that didn't have good money habits mm -hmm. or didn't have good relationships with money or were denied resources and never learned how to overcome that or tap mm -hmm. into their own magic and things like that so I think we come into money magic as witches, new witches, experienced witches with a lot of stuff that has mm -hmm. to be kind of like unpacked. <laughs> yeah, and that's reassuring to hear because I think, especially like my husband likes to watch Shark Tank. I don't like it as much, but he watches it a lot. So I end up watching it. And there's things about it that like kind of like annoy me in terms of like certain like ideas and mentalities and stuff like that. But I think that one of the things that I've like gotten from, um, that show is just this idea that you have to know your finances to the penny and what am I spending on this and what does this make cost and what's my profit margin on that and you know all of this you know just every single penny where is it going where is it happening and I hear you saying not necessarily like if you have an abundance of money coming in and it far exceeds what it requires in order for you to lead your lifestyle then it's not the penny pinching or counting every dollar that gets you to that that place of comfort financially no because let me because <laughs> I don't know what stuff is gonna cost me because mm -hmm. there's the unexpected there's things that happen it's things that come up. It's things that need to be fixed. It's things that need to be purchased. I be in the middle of doing orders. And I'm like, yes, I'm about to get all of these orders out. Oh, you ran out of bottles. Oh, shit. I didn't, pay. I didn't prepare for that. I thought I had enough bottles. I, had, I thought I had plenty of bottles. Oh, are you doing this? Oh, you ran out of this oil. Oh, that oil is going to take maybe a week to get here. Hmm. Oh, dang. You know, like, I don't know. I had to get tires before I left. It was like a thousand dollars. I don't know. It's like how do you, you can't, especially in a business, you don't know what's gonna happen. Right. You, you just have to <laughs> just go with the flow. Right. Go with you the just flow. have to go with the flow and then know that okay, this is out. It comes back in, and keep working and keep doing. The place that you were coming from, and you have children. You have five children, right? No, just three. Three. Okay, Ooh. I'm trying to give you more kids. <laughs> got three. You got three. That's right. That's right. The two girls and a boy, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, you have the three. <laughs> I'm speaking more kids on you. Hold up, girl. Okay. You're like no, no, no. Okay, so we have the three, and and you know, so adding kids into the mix is, is like. Wow, because that's, I don't have children. I have a cat. She is very much my baby, <laughs> but I understand that there's a really big difference when you have other people's lives, like depending on you and stuff like that. So I'm just wondering if you can share a word of encouragement to the person who is listening. Maybe they have children. Maybe they are living check to check. They are facing a foreclosure or an eviction mm. notice they don't know where their next money is going to come from mm. and all they have at this point is a desire to see a radical and completely transformational turnaround in their lives they think maybe magic could do it they think maybe they can do it but they've never seen it done before um mm, okay so my little testimony um when it was, when I moved back to Georgia, right before everything took off, we were busted. Like, so it's much so that I went on my daughter's birthday. I was at the food stamp office trying to get food stamps. Mm -hmm. I ended up getting denied because they said I still had Florida food stamps, which I didn't. So that didn't pan out. It was the first year that I didn't get her anything for her birthday. Mm -hmm. And I think she's 16 now. 
I don't know if that was year 13. I'm not sure what year it was. Mm-hmm. I'm mixing up years. Mm-hmm. But 2019 on her birthday, I didn't get her anything. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, I felt like crap. Um, that was the first time that that had ever happened. Right? Mm-hmm. She did get a cake, though. It's a homemade cake. But I just didn't have anything. And I had been doing, like, just barely making it. I make an arrangement for the phone, make an arrangement for the, this, you know, living like that. Mm-hmm. And so that was in December of 2019. Mm-hmm. So within that next year cycle, everything had changed. Mm-hmm. When Christmas and my birthday came, I said, what do you want? And she was like, I don't want anything because I have everything. And basically saying, I've been there. I've been there with low food. I've been there with low money. I've been there with low everything. (laughs) But the most important part about that is a knowing and a trusting that if you want things to change, Most importantly, you have to change your mind. You have to change your expectations. You have to say, I'm, this is, I am seeing this. And it's a hard thing to do at times. I'm not going to say it's the easiest thing to do. But I will say is don't give up. And just because you didn't see it then doesn't mean that you won't see it now. I mean, I remember if you would have met me in 2019, you could have talked shit about me. You could have been like, Oh, she's terrible. She can't even get her baby a gift. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it would would it have been a lie? It wouldn't have been a lie, right? It was just been knowing that your time will come, right? So when it's your time for things to change, your time will come. You just have to believe that it will, trust that it will, and start to make the actions that we talked about in this podcast. Yeah. And don't give up. Um, and if you can't afford, like, I would say shop at my shop, but if you can't afford, come by live. Just tune in some one day and see if it's something that maybe I could say it in a way that could help you out. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can hear it a little differently. Mm-hmm. You know, as for abundance, as for resources, not just that, the ideas mm-hmm. that's going to be the thing, to, the container to put the money in, you know opportunity access you know it's right around the corner it's right there it's just you have to trust it yeah and you got to trust it first and that's like the weird that's the weird part about it mm-hmm. yeah that goes right back to where we started <laughs> with the feelings how you feel i definitely encourage you guys to um tune into some of nicole's lives because and and even if it's not nicole though i definitely think you should uh Mm -hmm. tune into nicole's but um just really anybody because i think that paying attention to what you consume at this time if you find yourself that you are at that place where you're at your bottom dollar um, you don't know where you're going to turn. You want to manifest more money for yourself and a better situation for yourself. And it seems like impossible to conceptualize. We talked about how we can change how we feel, whether it's how we dress or whatever. Maybe that's not even available to you. If you are able to just listen to people that make you feel good, mm-hmm. and that's why I tune into Nicole's lives. Mm-hmm. They make me feel good. They make me feel like anything is possible. They make me feel like I can turn things around. They make me feel like I'm learning tips and tricks and things to adjust my mindset, see money differently, bring money into my life. And even if I do nothing, if I don't light a single candle, if I don't Mm -hmm. even say a single affirmation to myself, just consuming Mm -hmm. information that is uplifting and encouraging me to have that type of faith and Mm -hmm. know that I am abundant by nature that abundance is my birthright that i am not separate from money that it is currency it is energy and i am energy it belongs with me just like water air fire any Mm -hmm. other element and just listening to people saying things like that really helps to put you into a different Mm -hmm. space and a different Mm -hmm. mindset and and even that starts to shift Mm -hmm. energy 
in our lives. So I definitely encourage you guys to just consume as much positive and uplifting information around money as possible. Something you said in one of your lives really was like super mind blowing to me, but it was about um, amounts of money. Hearing people say like, oh yeah, so you know, we spent 30,000 on this and da 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 with such casualness and <laughs> such like what have you. Just doing that could be really big to you. Listening to people yeah. throw around numbers like, yes, okay, so I spent 50,000 on this thing or I just made $100,000 yesterday. And these numbers that for some of us are just like, whoa, I can't even wrap my mind around it. Start listening to people who talk about that type of amounts of money like they are nothing. So you start doing it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Big trick. Like I even, well, maybe even watch like HGTV projects and they're like this is gonna be forty thousand over budget i'm like oh y'all just gonna pay forty thousand over budget okay let's go okay okay no problem <laughs> me too <laughs> yeah for sure so i encourage that because you know i money magic i think sometimes it gets a little confusing because it can seem like oh i need to spend a bunch of money i gotta buy a bunch of oils i gotta go get a bunch of readings or i gotta go do these things i'm like yeah you can you can do those things they may be helpful i'm a big fan of nicole's rich witch oil i have a big old bottle of it i'm like halfway through it's on my prosperity oil altar i put it on myself before my work day all the time so that i can feel rich so i can have that energy around me that's wonderful but it's not it's not the oil's not the only thing that could do that for me. It's what I have chosen because I like oils and and s smelling a certain way really kind yeah. of triggers things for me. But so does listening to Nicole talk about mm -hmm. her experience and and stuff like that or things like that. So you don't necessarily have to spend money in order mm -hmm. to get into money magic. No, you, you don't. Are, you are working money magic just by doing that mindset work. Yeah, exactly. That is the beginning of it all. That is the beginning of it all. And whatever you can do and there's some things that i did um in the beginning like before the money hit i would do stuff like do prosperity paintings mm -hmm. and i would draw like a tree there's sometimes that i would like print out dollar bills like and then put them on a tree and do an affirmation i do art mm -hmm. or i would take some oil and put a little bit in my paint and do some art or you know like you said there's so many things you can do, right. creative things that you can do. And I plant say it a money plant. I love the living plant thing. Plant a money plant and put like some money underneath and let that yeah. plant grow. And as the plant grows, your money grows. There's so many things you can do that are symbolic, that you don't have to spend a lot. You know, you can use household items. You can make you some money rice. Mm -hmm. Everybody might have a little bit of rice, you know. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that we can do. The point is, whatever supports you changing your mind will support your reality changing. And that's where it starts. With any magic, you have to change your mind. And give yourself permission to. Because just because you didn't have don't mean you destined to not have. Right. That's not true. Right. You create your own truth about that. And if I can do it, baby, I didn't have no silver spoon. I ain't come from that. I don't even know how I got here. <laughs> Can like put like put point the the moment was it when I first started doing witchcraft? I don't know what what I don't know how I got here. Right. I just know if I can get here, and I came from some place that's desolate, that you can get here too, right. and wherever that here is for you. <laughs> I'm still working on that TikTok thing. I need. Uh, uh, yeah, I tried it for like a second, and then I was just like, "This isn't my." Thing. I don't understand. It's like a like a brain yeah. little thing. <laughs> yeah, I think that the HQ shop should have a TikTok um, to like okay. show the items and how to yeah, use yeah, yeah, them. Yeah. I think that'll be useful. And so I'm going to have to do that or try to find someone to do that, you know, because I do think it would be useful for that. But yeah, I understand the TikTok thing. I was like, like, okay. Everyone I know is like, I'm on TikTok. <laughs> Quote unquote. On. I got it. I got one. Just, right, right. Um, And I have some things. So just, oh, I have a. I have to send it to you. I have a community number. I can never remember it. It's a weird <laughs> thing. It's a 917 number. I have to send it to you. And you you join that number, and then you'll get text from me. And I'm like, good morning. Yay. Or I might be like, I'm going live. 
or who knows what I might say. Right. So if you don't get annoyed by me texting you, then you should just join my community number and then you can stay in a loop and know what whatever I'm doing. That's like right. the best way. Right. That and Instagram. But sometimes the text number gets stuff before Instagram. Yeah. So Thank you, witches, for checking out the behind-the-scenes footage from this week's episode. Tune in to YouTube every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern for a new episode, and definitely join us right after that episode airs for a coven-only live Q&A with our guest co-host. And make sure to leave a review of the Better Witch Podcast on your favorite podcast platform. See you next time. Blessed be.